Welcome back, welcome home folks. Today we gotta talk to you about something you may not know about, but it's important you do if you're thinking about purchasing your home, or if you're selling a home and you're a little bit worried about that buyer. We got John here from Contour Mortgage, an experienced real estate professional. He's gonna talk to us about? Gifts, gifts and uh, money, cash, buying houses. <laughs> cream, y'all, cream. Go ahead, my brother. <laughs> well, gifts are important, very important because they've had the way you present a gift on an offer, on a deal, on a loan, is varies from loan to loan. Okay. Very important. You could screw up a whole deal, a whole loan, depending on how you do gifts. Gotcha. Okay. okay. For example, on a on a FHA, they require more documentation than conventional, mm -hmm. right? And FHA, they need to see a donor's bank statement. Getting that uh, uncle now to provide that gift is going to be a little bit more. Um, it's going to be a little bit harder because he's going to be able to see all his transactions. And who knows what Uncle Jimmy is doing in there? <laughs> That's not our business. Hope, uh, another issue is Uncle might have all his money like stuffed under a mattress or something. So, you know, that could be problematic when we're talking about needing bank statements to show, you know, source of, sourcing people's income. Very big, very yeah. big, Justin. Uh, sourcing funds is yeah. very important. That's, that's basically one of the main differences between um, FHA and conventional. Is mm -hmm. You do also always have to source. You can use cash to buy a house. You can't use cash that's not in like a bank account or a stock. You can't just bring it. You can't just take the cash from the from your mattress and yeah. then just buy the house. You know, it has to go through the banking system first. Yes. Is as a way to prevent, you know, all sorts of things. Fraud and illegal activities and all that. That's stuff. right. So, um, in uh, taking a long story short, conventional is a lot, you need a lot less doc documentation. Mm -hmm. FHA, you need a lot more. Okay. One, one of the major keys being that first bank statement. Before you even give the gift, you need to provide a bank statement showing donor's ability. Okay. Be being able to see that the, the donor has the money already in their account. Conventional, not so much. Okay. Okay, it's very big. Um, it just, just so imagine you're going through this process, yeah. right? And your uncle gives you, let's say, let's let's keep it more uh, closer in the family. Mm -hmm. Let's say your your father gives you a, a gift, a gift, so for your down payment, or for your cost. down payment. Okay. And he takes it from the mattress, puts it in his bank account, uh -huh. and gives it to you. That's already wrong because he just that money wasn't there. It wasn't properly seasoned, as we call it. It wasn't there for the proper months. He just grabbed it from his his place where it was, yeah. deposited it to his bank account, and used it. That that's not enough. Okay, that's bad. The bank is gonna see where did this money come from. Now, if the cash came from a sale and you can prove it and this trace, everything is all about tracing. Okay, gotcha. right. If you can source these funds, which you mentioned earlier, yeah. you can source it. It was from a car sale. Mm -hmm. Here's the picture. Here's me holding the money. <laughs> <while> he... <laughs> Listen, it's all about evidence. You yeah. know, it's what is who not who you know. It's what you can prove. Not Got it. 100%. Ooh, facts. So if you can if you can prove that this money came from the proper sourcing, if you can source it, it was from a real estate sale, you're fine. Gotcha. But if it was cash and you have no proof of where it, where it came from, mm. um, that's bad. So you always speak to your loan officer be, before depositing any money. Very crucial. Very like I said, like I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. a deal can fall down and mm. it's gonna waste a lot of time. It can gotcha. waste, you know, it can, uh, it can bring you back maybe thirty to sixty days. Ooh, okay. So you don't want that. You don't want that. And that could lose you the house that you want. So Absolutely. Stay on top of it. But gifts. Definitely sounds like there are a lot of details we need to know about them. Right. So like John said, talk to John. Speak to John Pena yeah. and Loan Officer Pena on Instagram and all, all right. of that good stuff. <laughs> I ain't gonna test out my Spanish today, y'all. But uh, speak, <laughs> nah. <laughs> speak, speak, to, speak to John or uh, whatever loan officer you're working with. Talk to your agent. You wanna make sure there's a track, an uh, evidence tracer basically, so we can source all the money, the money season. You don't have any issues when it comes to using the funds that you rightfully have and yeah. deserve to purchase your property. Exactly. Um, it's your money. Uh, let's just do it the right way so you don't have no trouble in, going in the future. And then it'll be the gift that keeps on giving as you get that equity over time and then, you know, you make moves and you do whatever you need to do <laughs> with your family members. We'll talk about that in another video. Right, right. Stay tuned, guys. Thank y'all. Watch the next one. Any questions come up, let us know. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.